This is one of my first series where I go out in public and mess with people. Absolutely nothing and nobody is off limits. What's up, Grandma? Who is it? <laughs> YouTube life lesson channels, the bane of my existence. Now it seems like every time we cover a life lesson video on this channel, the standard of what is acceptable to be made into a life lesson video has dropped an unbelievable amount. And well, today is no different. I mean, it's so weird because it started off with Darman making videos like boss mistreats his workers or parents misunderstand their child. And now it's stuff like teacher poops on his student's essay to get revenge. Racist Karen kidnaps child for a PS5. I mean, what happened? And don't forget the one we're gonna be covering today. Evil TikToker pranks blind woman goes too far. What happens next is shocking. You know, I really like how they felt the need to add goes too far, like pranking blind woman is something that's socially acceptable normally. But this one was just a bit too much. I'm not even gonna ruin how stupid this video is for you. So let's just watch it. Please subscribe. So I can't really tell, but I think this actually might be a book that's written in braille. If that's the case, then I think that's more work than I've seen any life lesson channel put into a video before. So I gotta give them props for that. Quick spoiler alert, that is probably gonna be the only positive about this entire video. Right here, bro. Alright, let's get another take. I didn't look quite as sexy in that one. All right, it's recording. Hey, what's up, D-Bags? It's your boy, Dennis the Menace. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but does anybody hear that, like, metal hammering in the background? I don't know if that's part of a soundtrack that they accidentally left in or something, but it sounds like there's just a blacksmith off camera. And today we live streaming here on TikTok for a few hours and see what kind of comedy gold we can come up with. Bro, you should do another episode of Public Enemy. You know what? That's a great idea. Today we'll bring back Public Enemy. For those of you that are new, this is one of my first series where I go out in public and mess with people. Absolutely nothing and nobody is off limits. So let's find our first victim here. You know, this is an era of YouTube that I'm really glad we eventually left behind. Like some of you youngins might not remember, but in like 2015, 2016, these kinds of channels were really popular. I know they're talking about TikTok, but it's the same thing. Like the Sam Peppers of the world, where they would literally just go out in public and harass people. And then when someone got mad, they would just say it's a prank. I know that's kind of a meme at this point, but there was like three years where that was all YouTube was no way bro that old trash bag is perfect for this <laughs> you're a genius rex hey she's blind too it's gonna be too easy hey i bet you won't see this coming what's up grandma who is it <laughs> Damn. All right, so it seems like we're continuing the theme that these life lesson channels like to perpetuate that normal people are just willing to commit hate crimes. Like, don't get me wrong, I know people post a lot of stupid things on TikTok, but this would genuinely get you arrested pretty quickly. Is somebody there? Who's there? <laughs> oh! Who's there? Around, can tell bro. if you're talking to me or not. I'm sorry. I can't tell if somebody's there. <laughs> I think I'm just hearing voices. All right, so they're compounding the fact that this is already an unbelievably stupid video by apparently making it seem like blind people are stupid or something. Like I think a blind person would know that they're being messed with in this situation. I'm here to entertain my millions of followers online. Do you know who I am? I'm Dennis the Menace. I have over 2.4 million followers on TikTok. What do you have, you old stupid cockroach? Why are you saying these things to me? I've done nothing to you. You're scaring Nobody me. Nobody cares about stupid, old, smelly people like you. 
You're just a walking corpse taking up space in my world. Something I've noticed about this Life Lesson channel in particular, which I now realize I might have not told you guys what it's called. It's called Generation Hope, by the way. It's like they feel the need to make everybody so over the top like a straight up Disney villain, otherwise they can't get their point across. Like you don't need to make this guy the terminator of old people to send the message that you shouldn't be mean to the elderly. <laughs> I need that! <laughs> Come and take I it. need it. Come and take I it. Come on. I can't see without you it. You can't see? Oh. Wrong way. Wrong way. Ah. <laughs> I think she's gonna fall, bro. Oh, she's gonna fall. She's gonna fall. I need that to get where I'm going. <laughs> Come on, bro. Stop! Help! Help! Stop! <laughs> Oh my god. Now I say this a lot on my channel, and I know it's kind of become a joke. Like, aha, uh -huh, you did something weird, that's gotta be illegal, right? But, uh, this? No, this is a genuine felony charge. I mean, you get in front of any jury, and the prosecuting attorney shows them this video, you are going straight to prison. I mean, do the people writing these scripts think that normal people go out and do this kind of stuff often? Because there are definitely more tame ways to get your message across. Oh, and remember to hit me with a follow. I'll be picking one random person to win her walking stick from today's episode. So nothing of value really happens during this segment. Her and this guy just talk about how they apparently need to forgive people who do things to them. So I guess they never went to the police about the actual hate crime that was committed against this woman. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I would not be forgiving that. <laughs> All right, so same as last time. Let's live stream and see if we can get more people on. It's crazy. We gained one million followers since our last episode of Public Enemy. That we would go viral again if we did a part two. I know, man, but I mean, where are we gonna... Wait, there's no way we're this lucky. Isn't that that oh, same old lady? Round two, baby. We're gonna go viral again. Dude, the fans are gonna love this. All right, bet. Let's, Let's go. go viral hey, live again. stream right now, all right? Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot that they were apparently live streaming this to, like, hundreds of thousands of people. You're gonna tell me there was not one single good-hearted individual on that live stream who reported this to the police? How has this crime gone unnoticed? Look what we have here. No, not you again. Siri, call Will. You can't make a phone call. We're in the middle of a conversation right now. That's really rude. Now I gotta teach you a lesson. Why are you being so mean to me? I'm just a little old lady. <laughs> okay, so before this video wraps up, I just want to really highlight how this is like genuine serial killer behavior. I mean, this guy is going out and bullying disabled elderly people. This guy needs to spend some time in prison and probably have a psych evaluation. But I don't think you'd be surprised to hear that absolutely none of that is gonna happen. I've said this before about life lesson channels, they set themselves up for such an easy out. Out, like an ending that makes sense and would actually be some sort of resolution, and then they run in the opposite direction. <laughs> Look, you're trying to get away, man. This is too easy. No! I need that. I just had hip surgery. <laughs> oh, really? Go fetch! <laughs> hey, let's play a little game. Uh, if you get closer, I'll say warmer. If you get more far away, I'll say colder. I just don't think anybody's like this in real life. Don't get me wrong, I know there's evil people, but I think if you're at this stage of messed up in the head, you're already, like, killing people. You're not bothering with old women in the park. I know TikTok is not the greatest app, but I'm pretty sure that there would not be hundreds of thousands of people supporting this. I need my walking cane. You will get nothing, because you are nothing. Now repeat after me. I'm a worthless, stupid, smelly, Blind rat. Say it! I... Hey! Didn't your parents teach you how to respect people? Hey, Rex, don't leave me, man. Come on. Some friend you have. I'm gonna teach you a lesson you're never gonna forget, little boy. Okay, so the lesson that he gives him that he's never gonna forget is making him pick up her stuff. That's it. How can you treat an old lady like that just for a stupid internet video? Do you realize how much pain and suffering you put her through? I ought to bust your head wide open. Give me your wallet. Right now. Okay, Dennis. I'm not gonna call the cops now. Um, well? 
Why not? You have who is likely the next biggest serial killer sitting right in front of you, and you're not gonna call the cops? Does anything in any of these life lesson universes ever make sense? I need you to come here every day at 6 p.m. to help Ruth back to her apartment. And you need to do errands for a whole month. That should teach you how to respect your elders. If you try to skip out and lie about it, I got all the video evidence right here, and I'll go directly to the cops and tell them what you did. Okay, man, I will. Please just don't call the cops for horrible things that they do to pretty boys like me in jail. Trust me, I know. Yeah, that's a hilarious thing to joke about. My god, there's just so many things wrong with this video. First off, why would Dennis care? He's literally been broadcasting these actions to the entire world. Obviously, the police in this universe don't care. And then why would you not call the cops? You think a month of errands is gonna change this psychopath? He's probably just gonna plan his next attack during this month. God, why are these characters so stupid? Well, I've gotta say this video has succeeded in making me quite angry. I mean, I think it's obvious that Dennis is going to continue being a menace and probably set out to break Ruth's other hip after this month is over. Good job, Will. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.